second graders, we are here with our reading video for Wednesday. Just a reminder that today you're reading a story called Dear Primo and it's on page 336 in your big blue book. So if you have not already read that story, please make sure you do that before you come back and fill this chart out with us, okay? All right, they're probably back. They're back. They're back already because yeah. you guys are awesome and you probably already read the story before turning the video on. All right, well, I love the story that we read this week. It was super cute. Mm -hmm. I love the illustration of the boys back and forth and where they live and just all the different things that they get to do and see in their lives. So we're talking about two characters. We have Charlie and we have Carlitos and they live very different lives. They do have some similarities, mm -hmm. but we're gonna be talking about what makes them a little bit different. This chart should look familiar to the chart that we did yesterday when we were comparing um, the United States and Chinese New Year's. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to be comparing our characters, Charlie and Carlitos, and we're going to talk about two things, where they live and how they get to school. Now, do you think they live in similar places or not so similar? I'm gonna say not so similar. <laughs> yeah, they're not similar at all. In fact, we're going to help you out. We're going to tell you a little bit about Charlie and you at home are going to have to fill in Carlitos. Yeah. So Charlie lives in a city, all right? In a pretty busy city. Can you describe what a city looks like? A city has tall buildings and a lot of people and it's busy and there's usually like a lot of different cars and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna say a, a city with, I like how you said tall buildings. Yeah, I love that. You know me and my big handwriting. It's going <laughs> right into Carlitos. It's okay, because they're going to have to do this on their own. Anyways. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to give you any hints, but Carlitos does not live in a city. He yeah. lives somewhere completely different. Um, and so him and Charlie are quite a bit uh, different in terms of where they live. Let's talk about how they get to school. Charlie lives in a city, and a lot of people in a city do not own cars. Mm -mm. In fact, they might not have a car to go anywhere. They take something that's underground. Do you remember? It's kind of like a train, a but it's a subway. Yes, he yeah. takes the subway to go to school. In fact, anywhere he needs to go, wow. he goes downstairs. And then he gets on this train that takes him all around the city, all underground, underneath the building. That's underground train, cool. I think the so subway, cool. sub means under, mm -hmm. like under the way of people. Yeah. It's also a sandwich. It is also a sandwich, a Subway sandwich. You, <laughs> I don't know which I prefer. <laughs> All right, so Charlie takes the Subway. Now again, I'm gonna give you a hint. Carlitos, because he does not live in the, sub, the city, he is not taking the Subway. No. He gets to school in a quite different way. He gets, yeah. it's a little different. Yeah. But you need to find it in your book. <laughs> All right. So boys and girls, you are going to finish this chart telling us about where Carlitos lives and how he gets to school. And you'll be all set with today's assignment.